All right, more AI dungeon. I promise <laughs> there will be no Barry Gibbs singing today. <laughs> Maybe a little. I'm gonna do Cyberpunk this time. I like Cyberpunk 2077, so let's be Cyberpunk this time. Uh, we'll be a cop. Enter character's name. Um, uh, Bavis Thwindvald. Generating story. You are Bavis Thrindvold, a cop living in the futuristic city of Zale. Like the jewelry store? You have a laser pistol and a stunner. Pardon moi. You are part of a police unit tasked with finding government criticizers. You wake up in the morning and hear on the radio that your unit is being attacked. You run out of your house and get into your car, a sleek piece of machinery. You turn on the ignition and the car beeps at you and you say... Go, <laughs> go, go, gadget, rocket boots. <laughs> da -da 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 -da, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Say, go, go, gadget, rocket boots. The car accelerates into the air and you fly into the windshield. <laughs> and you fly into the windshield. You smash through the windshield and start falling to the ground. <laughs> you hit the ground with a thud and see a giant metal tentacle growing from the ground. You are picked up by the tentacle and pulled towards the city center. Oh, that's, that's never a good sign when a tentacle grabs you. Hmm. Put me down, you heathen! The tentacle puts you down, and you land in the back of a garbage truck. You quickly climb out of the garbage truck and see the city is under attack by giant crab-like creatures. Hey, I mean, he was he put me down when I asked. That's pretty nice. Looks like we're... <laughs> Having seafood tonight, fellas, he says to no one in particular. <laughs> you start running towards the garbage truck. I thought I was in the garbage truck. Trying to find some way to fight these creatures. There are about five of them, a lot weaker than the creatures you fought earlier. What creatures did I fight earlier? <laughs> go, go, gadget. <laughs> Nuclear bomb! <laughs> you go into a dumpster full of garbage and find a small box. You open the box and pull out a small mechanical device and put it on. Uh, go, go, gadget, whatever this is. <laughs> what? Go, go, gadget, whatever this is! Yeah. I thought I asked for a nuke, but, you know. <laughs> a loud buzzing noise comes out of the box, and it makes a blue glow around the tentacles of the creature. The creatures move slowly and start stumbling around. Huzzah! I'm... I'm a wiener. <laughs> Creatures fall to the ground in mass seizures. Dead. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least you saved the city from being eaten by giant monster crabs. Nope, the city anyway! <laughs> we must eradicate any trace of them! <laughs> you press a button on the device and set it to go off. A massive explosion rips through the city and kills everyone. <laughs> but not me. <laughs> but not me, folks. 
You run into a building and hide. The explosion vaporizes the building, killing you too. Well, screw you, AI. I told you not me. He's just... <laughs> He's just running through the streets like, that nuke killed everyone, but not me. And then, <laughs> famous last words, not me. All the ghosts of the city's, city's uh, resident, uh, Gather at the first, at the, <laughs> the ghost realm, <laughs> the ghost realm, uh, in initi initiation ceremony. <laughs> There's just like a, like a ghost realm and they have to like, <laughs> and are killed. <laughs> All the newly created double ghosts <laughs> rise further into the double ghost realm. can't even imagine what it's gonna do. <laughs> what could it possibly- the rest of the ghosts are killed. The city is cleaned up and the creatures of the night get a new place to sleep. So there's triple ghosts now? <laughs> the city's cleaned up, I guess. Everything's fine. Monkeys! <laughs> Move into the city. That's not how you spell monkeys. <laughs> And the world is good and right again. <laughs> Welcome to Monkey Town. <laughs> Welcome to Monkey Town. You are <laughs> Freddy Monkey. <laughs> you are Freddy Monkey. A delivery driver for <laughs> ban Bananarama. Welcome to Monkey Town. You are Freddy Monkey. A delivery dri a delivery for Bananarama. <laughs> Just completely change the story again. Forget about what happened before. <laughs> You're monkeys now. Oh, come on! Do it again. Try again. You get dressed and head to work. Nothing more. Expand upon it, AI. It's your job. <laughs> it's just like a dude, like an AI dude sitting in in his office, like I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't understand. <laughs> okay, we'll do. We'll give it something else. We'll give it a say. Gee whiz! <laughs> this sure is a sunny day. <laughs> Your boss gives you a look like you just ate a bad egg. <laughs> um, throw pineapple at your boss and blame it on Jessica. <laughs> Your boss is more mad than ever. Uh, <laughs> usurp him. <laughs> after work, you go to a local bar to drink. It's a typical Saturday afternoon. 
I said <laughs> usurp the boss. You have a bright idea. All right, I'm gonna let it go on this tangent a little bit. What bright idea did I have, AI? It will either be the best plan of your life or the worst plan ever. You take out the bottle of alcohol that you brought for the day and start drinking. Keep going. I wanna hear what it has to say. You get pretty drunk and when you are sufficiently inebriated, you order another round. All right. What's the plan? Your boss's secretary is a lovely lady who works the late shift. She comes to the door and makes the decision to flirt and you make the decision to flirt with her. See, now we're getting somewhere. Hey. Bookie mama. <laughs> How's the nanners? <laughs> That's monkey flirting, I guess. <laughs> she gives a confused look. The nanners? Did you just say nanners? Like for crack? Yes. <laughs> I want to see where, where it takes crack. <laughs> Don't drink too much, darling. You continue to get drunk. The next thing you know, you are standing in front of Jessica, the lovely secretary. She gives you a big smile. Where's the boss? Where's the boss? He's drunk, so... Where's the boss, Jessica? You can't remember what the plan is. You are that drunk. You try to think of something, anything. You come up with a random idea and implement it. See, I didn't even know what the plan was because the AI didn't tell me what the plan was. So we're just going to let it keep going. See what it decides to do. Hey, Jess, let me ask you. Do you think George Bush has a twin sister who looks like Monica Lewinsky? <laughs> that was his plan. <laughs> The grand plan! It's all coming to fruition now! <laughs> Let's see what Jessica says. The question seems to confuse her. Yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> I mean, do you think he might have had an affair with her? Still more confused. Is she cheating on me, Jess? <laughs> Finally, clarity. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what we'll call that clarity. I, I, guess, I guess Freddy Monkey is dating George Bush. <laughs> and he's scared that he's having an affair with his sister that looks like Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> Freddy Monkey. <laughs> what are you... You sick, racist pig! She screams. She calls you a pig and pushes you out the door. You fall and hit your head. <laughs> it's a sunny day. <laughs> the ghost of your boss is laughing at you. When did he die? <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's here. <laughs> Is it George Bush? Oh, I forgot to switch it to say. No, it's your dad. Don't worry. I won't say a word. The ghost of your boss continues laughing. It'll be our little secret, won't it? No! Leave me! Spectre! Your, ghost bo your ghostly boss is in full-fledged laughter. Stop it! Where's Jessica?
You try to call out to Jessica, but your voice is still gone. You try to look for her, but you can't see anything. Just a big red nowhere. Jessica, is that you? No. It's Barack Obama. <laughs> no, it's Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, look who's here, it's Barry, the ghost of your boss says. Uh, don't drink too much, darling. You continue to get drunk. <laughs> Jessica! <laughs> Have we, like, <laughs> started another nightmare loop? <laughs> Jessica! Remember, he's just, like, on her front stoop. <laughs> you hear a loud, ominous sound, like something massive just slammed into the earth. You whisper. The sound is louder than anything you've ever heard. It's... Unthinkable. It's terrifying. It's... It's large. It's... It's... John Cena! <laughs> it's large. It's... It's... It's John Cena! The noise stops and all is quiet. The earth is still. You hear heavy breathing like something is standing right next to you. Who's there? Oh, I did a story. <laughs> Who's there? What is he doing? What is it? What is it thinking? What you got for me? Nothing. Oh, there it is. Your ghostly boss is laughing at you. Are you scared, little man? I was being sarcastic, he says. <laughs> More breathing. Closer. <laughs> Light. <laughs> Give me the strength <laughs> to shatter these bonds. <laughs> Give me the strength to shatter these bonds. Nothing. You use your newfound strength to try to break free. Your ghostly boss is laughing at you. I wish I could, sweetheart. The ghost of your boss says. <laughs> so is like the ghost of my boss just like keeping poor Freddy Bunky in purgatory? <laughs> you are not my king yet. Boy, <laughs> you are not my king yet, boy. <laughs> you lash out at your boss, but you are too drunk to do much damage. Your ghostly boss looks at you, puzzled. I have a better question for you, he says. What is that question, boss? <laughs> what is it? Let me know. If you were trapped in a jail cell and you had to choose between me and John Cena, who would you choose? You can't do this to me! You shout. <laughs> no! You can't make me choose! I won't! I choose. Marie Curie. I don't know. <laughs> I choose Marie Curie. Your ghostly boss laughs at you. No, 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 you whisper. My queen, now the final piece of the puzzle, he says. 
I'm just gonna let it go on its own. <laughs> for, for now. The puzzle I've been putting together since forever. Since you first met me, when you were a little girl. I've been manipulating you since then to further my own goals, haven't I? Ooh. Who's he talking to now? I guess his queen. <laughs> Is his queen Marie Curie? <laughs> yes, you admit. And now I'm going to make you my queen. No! You can't just keep me as your pet! Make me a real queen! Are we- It's go- It itself is going back into WoW. Okay. <laughs> Cause now it's talking about, uh, Ejara and what's his dude. And Freddy Monkey's a queen now, apparently. <laughs> Uh, demands his queenhood. <laughs> I can do anything I want, you say. Just, just give me a chance. Just see what it does. See where it takes this. My queen, your boss says with a smile. <laughs> I will give you whatever you want. If you wish it, you can make me into anything you want. You are my queen. You are my... You have my power. You want to scream in your boss's face. You have no power here. I do, he says. You're in the other dimension. No, I'm not, you shout. I'm right here! I'm not going anywhere! Okay, then where am I? Ooh. Ooh. You're in the other dimension, he says. This is the dimension I come from. It's just a doorway to this dimension. I created it, and I can close it. Okay, we're just gonna wrap this up, because it's been too long. Freddy Monkey. Uh, plunges his massive blade into... the heart of uh, Azeroth and declares himself high high princess overlord of goose pigeons and evil an evil. <laughs> I didn't spell evil Knievel right, but that's fine. <laughs> if that's true, how come I can't see you? Because, unlike me, you're a mortal creature. You can't access the dimension without your mind and heart being here. It just completely ignored what I, what I just wrote. <laughs> the screen <laughs> fades out. Whilst <laughs> Nights on Broadway <laughs> by the PGs <laughs> is playing sped up loud and upside down. <laughs> Oh, I didn't actually change it. I didn't hit backscape. Backspace. Freddy? You say, Freddy, are you there? You wake up and the first thing you see is a sign with your name on it.
This is the story of a monkey <laughs> named Freddy. <laughs> Freddy worked for a company where he sat at a desk and pushed buttons all day. <laughs> The next sign is your bed. You feel you should do something for your hard or her far harder than the day day day. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try to end this. We're gonna have we have to get a conclusion here. Freddy, uh, um, uh, butt smashes the moon into the earth, killing everyone. <laughs> It's like, what the heck did you just type? <laughs> what is this? The last thing you see is a sign with your name on it before your eyes well shut, swell shut, and your mouth fills with blood. Make the sky black and the sun red. Uh, and so ends our story about Freddy Monkey. <laughs> Remember, this was a... <laughs> This was a cyberpunk story about a police officer. <laughs> That's how it started. <laughs> and now, Freddy Monkey. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the story about Freddy, Freddy Monkey. <laughs> uh, bye! <laughs>